Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are building a clear mental model of identity and taxes management or IAM. By the end you'll understand authentication versus authorization, how OAuth, YCD and SAML fit together, what tokens and claims actually mean and how Think about SSO federation and modern authorization model. Here is the plan identity, authentication, authorization, simple, clear definitions, modern, modern protocols, OATHU, OpenID Connect, and some. When to use what? Tokens, claims. ID access refresh tokens, watch what each one of is for, roles versus scopes, SSO federation and provisionings with uh, SCIM, authorization models, top risk and defenses and practical checklists. Let's get the foundations right. Identity is a set of attributes that describes a subject, a user, a device, or a service. Think email, employee ID, or device ID. Authentication is the process of providing your identity, typically using methods such as password, one-time code, certificates. Authorization is what you are allowed to do after you are authenticated. Read a profile, create an order, access the admin panel, the key idea, draw a trust boundary. Your app should consume identity from a trusted identity provider rather than inventing its own fragile login logic. Our thought is for delegated authorization. It gets you an access token so a client can call an API. Open ID Connect is an OAuth tool plus an identity, it adds an ID token that identifies the user. That's what most modern web and mobile apps use. XAML2 is XML-based SSO, still very common in enterprise and B2B. A practical rule of thumb is YDC for modern apps uh, and APIs except XAML in legacy enterprise SSOs they can coexist. There are three token types you'll, uh, you'll hear about. ID token, OIC, OIDC, identity fact about the user, uh, who they are, typically consumed by the client app. Access token, OAuth, presented uh, to an API where the, what the client is allowed to do, often a JVT token. Sometimes opaque um, APIs must verify signature, audience, issuer, and expiration ref date. Refresh token uh, lets a client get a new access token without making the user login again. Handle carefully with short life uh, timestamps and rotation. Uh, claims are the key value fields inside tokens like sub, email, role, scope, or tenant. And remember, there's also a logging session at the IADP. Apps don't need long server session if token like a life timestamps are and refresh are set up well. Our user centric admin editor view, great for UI decisions and access. Scopes also are API centric. Orders read, orders write, great for the list, privilege, on resource servers. Think of this way roles describe who the users is who the user is in your business. Scopes define what the client app can do on a specific API. SSO means one login across multiple apps. That's all trust, the same IDP session. 
Federation is where your IDP trusts another IDP, Google, Azure AD, or partner XAML provider. Users authenticate there. You consume assertions here. Provisioning is the account lifecycle. With SCIM, you can automatically create, update, and deactivate users and groups across system, which is uh, which is essential for compliance and of of bulk data. There are three big models to know: RBAC, role-based access control. Assign roles to users, simple and common. ABAC, attribute based access control. Decisions used, user resource context attributes like department, resource or owner department. Rebug, relationship based access control. Think graphs, owner of, viewer of, perfect for co collaborative systems like docs or repos. For complex rules, externalize a uh, decision to a policy engine so service can uh, ask, allow, or deny with context. Problems and practical fixes. Phishing and weak factors. Adopt uh, PASCII web out, strong MFA, and device signals. Token theft replay. Short life access tokens, rotating uh, refresh tokens, and sender constraint tokens like DPOP, M MTLS, follow use in SPAS, use authorization code PKCI, avoid the implicit flow, course redirect URI mistakes. Use uh, exact allow, allow list, no wildcards in production, GVT pitfalls, verify signature, AUD, ESS. Here is your quick start. Choose OIDC for apps uh, and, app and IPIs and use auth code uh, PKCE. Make access token short lived and rotate refresh tokens. Model roles for UI and, uh, and course uh, access uh, use scopes for API permissions. Enable uh, MFA, prefer pass keys and have account recovery plan. Centralize audit logs for signing consent and admin changes. Plan SCIM provisioning or at least reliable deprovisioning hooks. Let's uh, check uh, a little quiz just to lock in it. Which token do you present to an API? The access token. What does the PKCE define against in public clients like SPA or, SPA or mobile? A code interception. Which is API centric roles or scopes? scopes. When you are ready to add visuals, I AIM for your diagrams. YDC code flow with PKCE, five steps with uh, code ver uh, verifier code challenge. Token types, ID uh, versus access versus refresh with one line purposes. Authorization models. SSO uh, and Federation.